All right, hello and welcome to Sports on TVC News to 7. We start from the home front where Nigeria's Minister of Sports Development, Senator John Owen Eno, has expressed his delight over the number of emerging talents being discovered at the ongoing National Youth Games holding in Asaba Delta State. The minister stated this in a statement while describing the Games as a platform for young talents to be discovered in the country, while noting that there are no shortfall of supply of uh, talent across the country it stressed the need to make platforms across the Federation visible for the talents to be nurtured and developed. Meanwhile, host, nation, uh, host state Delta remained top of the medal table with 36 gold, 25 silver and 23 bronze medals ahead of Lagos, who are second with 18 gold, 12 silver and 15 bronze medals. Edo State lie in third position with 17 gold, 12 silver and 13 bronze while Bayelsa and Ogo State make up the top five. And in a related development, the Minister of Sports, Senator Eno, has said that he is in touch with the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Yusuf Maitama Tuga, and the Nigerian Ambassador to the Republic of Italy, Ambassador Mfawa Abam, over a diplomatic approach with Italy to resolve an alleged racial discrimination of Nigerian forward Victor Sime. The minister in a statement said his office is making efforts to reach Osime so as to understand what the issues are while committing to establishing the facts of the matter. The minister who also touched on the alleged racial profiling of sprint oddler Toby Amusha said the welfare of Nigerian athletes anywhere in the world is a topmost priority while adding that the current administration will ensure Nigeria's sportsmen and women are accorded the respect they deserve and are not exposed to injustice, discrimination, and unfair trolling that could be detrimental to their career trajectory. And the Nigeria Premier Football League is set to kick off its 2023 2024 league season this weekend with matches across various locations. A statement signed by the Chief Operating Officer of the league, Davidson Omi, said 20, 20 participating clubs have been notified about the commencement date for. The league, with each club getting a 10 million naira takeoff grant for the season, he also said the champions of the season would receive 150 million naira, which is a 50% increase from last season's prize money, while assuring the clubs that the MPFL board would at all time take decisions and enter into contract that serves the best interest of the league and the clubs. Seven matches are slated for Saturday in the Nigeria Pro League, with uh, two matches postponed for continental engagements. Newly promoted Canopilers travel to Akure for a clash against Sunshine Stars. Shooting Stars of Ibadan will welcome Plato United, while top flight returnees uh, Outland will host Lobby Stars, while Bayeso United and Aqua United face off in a South South Derby on the opening weekend of the new league season. The game between Sporting Lagos and Gombe United hold on Monday at the Mobolaji Johnson Arena in Lagos.